Okay, so it's Erin. I'm back again. I have another video. I'm going to cover some mindset, some nutrition, and a workout for you to give a try. Okay, stay tuned. So I'm going to talk about mindset first. This one is just kind of covering the basis of your workouts and your nutrition. And I just wanted to say that the basics never stop working. So when I say the basics with your workout, so those movements that are how old, the squat, the press, the lunge, the bench, um, those things have been around forever and they don't stop working. There's so many different ways to go about doing them. You can change them up, you can change the weight, you can change the tempo, you can change the speed, things like that. But those things never get old. You don't need all of the fancy things or fancy workouts. So like you don't need to have the bands and stuff to grow your booty. You don't need to have um, straps and like all the things that you see people using. You don't need to have those things. It just, what matters is that you're doing the basic movements, those big compound movements. Those are the things that work, okay? So as far as workouts, stick to the basics. You don't have to do some fancy like movement that has a three in one and overwhelm your brain. You don't have to do that. Um, the important thing is, is that you're utilizing those good old basic movements. Same with your food. You don't need to have fancy recipes. You don't need to have fancy ingredients. If you don't even know how to say it or spell it and you're not sure what it's for, why, why do you need it? You don't. The basics have never stopped working. The things that we are, that are so old that we don't even know when they first made their appearance on this earth, um, like your, your lean proteins, your fats, your carbs, the things that we've been growing in our gardens and our fields for years, those things don't get old. Those things are still so important to our diet um, that, yeah, stick to those basics. Sure, if you want to expand your knowledge and expand your creativity, sure, grab those fancy ingredients and look at a super cool recipe, but you don't need all of those extras in order to have a healthy diet going for you at all times. You really don't, okay? So the basics, they don't get old. Nutrition, um, I'm gonna talk about something that this usually applies to workouts. And I don't know if you've heard this or not, I've heard it many, many times. You need to do X amount of repetitions to be really, really good at something. So if you want to master the squat, uh, you want to master the bench press. You need to do like thousands of reps before you're actually like perfect. I don't remember the exact number, so don't quote me on that, but you have to do so many repetitions of something to get really good at it. So instead of thinking about that in terms of our workout, think about it in terms of our nutrition. So we can't just for one week stick to some healthy eating and a really good full whole foods diet and then go back to eating things that are not as nutritionally dense or as nutritionally good for us and expect things to work in your favor. Um, so in terms of your eating, stick to the same things, repeat the same habits, okay? So um, if you've created a habit that you are now going to eat a piece of fruit at breakfast every day, or now you're gonna have two veggies at your lunch every day, or your habit is that you're gonna eat 10 fruits and vegetables in a day. Whatever it is, stick to it and repeat. Repeat, repeat, repeat. The more repetitions you get, the better it's gonna be, and the better you're going to be at that, okay? So practice makes perfect. All right, so a little workout for you to try. The way it's gonna work, I have four exercises. And I want you to do set a timer that's 40 seconds on 20 seconds off. So you're going to work for 40, you're going to rest for 20 and you're going to go through those four exercises. Okay. So set your timer accordingly. Then you get to choose how many rounds after you've done all four exercises. If you need to give yourself a smidge more of a rest, and then you get to determine how many rounds you do. If three rounds kicks your butt, awesome. If you can go for 10 rounds, cause it's only four exercises, go for 10 rounds. All right. So, First, we're gonna do jump squats. So 40 seconds of these, don't forget. So nice fluid movement. You're jumping and you're squatting. So nice and fluid. You're coming up from your squat into a jump. You're landing from your jump right into the squat. Then you're down for push-ups. You can do these push-ups 
from your toes or from your knees. Just make sure your arms are nice and close to your side and your body stays nice and tight when you're doing this, okay? So I don't want your butt piking up or dipping down. All right, while you're down there, you're gonna go on the next 40, you're gonna go right into mountain climbers. So you're holding that nice plank position, driving those knees in. Then you're gonna flip over for the last one. You've got leg raises. So if you need to, you put those hands underneath your butt to support your back and you're raising those legs up, lowering them down without touching your heels to the floor. All right, and at that point, if you need, like I said, have a little bit of an extra rest and then set that timer for go again. Or you can just set your timer for the right amount of rounds and just keep on circling through that and only have 20 seconds of rest even at the end of those four movements, okay? Have fun. All right, there you have it. So a little bit of mindset, something to think about, nutrition, something else to think about and maybe implement into your life. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And then a workout for you to try. All right. So as always, I encourage you to post about the workout in the comments. Let me know how you thought it went. Tag someone that you think would like it. And uh, don't forget that if you're interested in coming to any Zoom workouts, I am hosting a bunch. I've added some now to my schedule. So um, reach out, message me on Facebook or Instagram, send me an email, whatever you like, and uh, I might have something for you. Okay. Have a great day.